it still had in that time in regional history. Somewhere in the 41. 41.7. 41.7. It's just two pennies. And at this time, they have a and at this time, they have a special award that they'd like to uh, give in honor of the first head coach who won that state championship, Mr. Rob Pilo, and I'll let Mr. Charles. Thank you, Coach. Can y'all hear me okay? Y'all yeah. bear with me. I'm going to tell you a quick tale. If, if you fall asleep, I don't mind. Okay? you got to get them to go to the bathroom, it's okay. But it's a tale that we're, we want to tell tonight. <clears throat> also here with another team in our Scott Cushing. Scott, <clears throat> Scott was with us on our 1980 state championship. History matters if it's written down. If history is not written down, it's a campfire legend. Okay, so sometimes it's hard to find out what's really done if no one writes it down and chronicles it. And in y'all's age, things can be captured, and they, they are captured, and they're kept. But hang on to what matters in life, because someday someone's going to say, what, what really happened in 2019? Sometimes things get lost. Okay? And, you know, we have been competing in athletics in Leesville since 1910. That was my sophomore year. I'm that old. But we have been competing here, and in the history of Leesville High School, we've had many great athletes. If I asked Mr. Rodney over here who the best athlete ever was in Leesville, he'd have an answer. Coach Goggins would have an answer. We could all we could all talk about who the best ever was. And, and the, the ties of being a Wampus Cat are tight. And I'm telling you, the older you get, what Coach Causey always says about once a Wampus Cat, always a Wampus Cat will mean something to you. And that's why we're here tonight. We're trying to tie the past to you guys because as old track athletes, we're proud of them. We hear these times we want to clap and we're... Congratulations for the ladies winning a district championship, and the guys got second at regionals. Y'all did great at state, getting guys on the podium. Great job. But of all these great athletes we've had in Leesville, we've had district titles and regional titles, but only in the history of Leesville there have been three state championships. The most recent was in basketball in 2000. And the other two were track. So you can walk around in Leesville going, track hit it. And I'm going to tell you, it's not true. I coached at another school for several years. And any time the other coaches would hear Leesville was coming, they go, oh, Because track became a thing here in about 1970, 74. A coach moved in here from out of town. His name was Kulo. He was actually a German by birth. Um, he moved back to the States. He moved to the States, and, and he met a pretty girl from Leesville. And they took a path in life, and went through. he went through college. He was a college baseball player. Somehow or another, God arranged it where he landed back in Leesville in 1974. He didn't know, I don't know what he knew about track, but he figured it out. He was one of these guys like these great coaches you have who could look at an athlete and assess them and go, I know what he can do. And I know what she can do. And he, he was an analyst. And he could figure out what people could do. And he started building a program. He had some ups and downs and downs and ups. And after about four years of building a program, like we all talk about here, at the state meet in 1978, Leesville won their first state championship. And they just didn't win it. They decimated it. Some of y'all, with track fresh on your mind, some of y'all listening right now, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, four by two ran 125.9. The four by one ran 41.7. And the mile relay ran 317. And, and these were all yards. We had a miler that ran 431 at 957, uh, 6'4 in a high jump. It, he built a team. He had help. He had coaches. And it was lightning in a bottle. And it was because he loved kids. And he connected with kids. And kids would run for him. Like y'all run for your coach. Like y'all play for your coach. And by the way, for all these other sports of the year, as an old alumni, I just want to say congratulations. This is the greatest year I've ever seen in Leesville sports. Uh, from start to finish. So, congratulations to all of you. But, you know, time passes and there were coaching turnovers, and uh, Coach Kilo actually left here in 79. But when we won again in 1980, it was his guys. And the guy that came in was smart enough to go, I'm just going to get out the way and give him the sticks. And they won again. And so, Scott was on the 80 team. So that, that's why we're here. We're, we're wanting to connect with you, but we're wanting to uh, commemorate the hard work of a coach. Because y'all know how hard your coaches work. They literally work for pennies on the hour, you know, at, at these extra times. And uh, we, we wanted to establish a, an award in the first coach's name that ever won a state championship here. 
And he wanted to be here tonight. And uh, his, uh, he's not feeling well, so he asked us to come uh, for him. And uh, we're, we're filming it so he, he and his wife can see it. But again, we as alumni are proud of you. Pastor Andy, you want to say? Well, this is what I'm going to say. Y'all can break that record. <laughs> okay. Uh, I hate for you to break my record, but you know what? That's what the records are for. Y'all break it, okay? And I'm going to tell you something. What to do it. Y'all work together. Stick together. And see yourself breaking. Because it's breaking. But I want y'all not to break it. I want y'all to shout it. Okay? All right. So, the first Ralph Kilo Award, which we will institute, and we will keep going, as long as old men like this are, are holding breath, goes to Joe Kanata.